Hey everybody, welcome back to Rock for a Q, or welcome to the channel if you're new. If you are new here, why not hit that subscribe button? And if you like what you see, feel free to uh, drop us a like and uh, drop us a comment to let me know what you're up to. Uh, here we are with another 15 long reds video. So uh, if you haven't seen session one where I explain this challenge, I'll quickly go over it, but go back and watch uh, session one. Feel free to do that. Uh, basically, so this is uh, 15 reds, all 15 reds. Uh, place one next to the blue spot, not on the blue spot, but next to the blue spot, and then try and pot it straight into the uh, corner pocket, and then you alternate sides, moving the red, you know, the next red on the other side of the blue spot, and shooting from the other side of the table. And in the previous video, I got five out of 15, which... Uh, I was pretty happy with, uh, but one thing that happened was that I got almost all of my pots into the uh, right hand side of the table uh, as we look at it, uh, the left hand side uh, it, from the perspective of the table cap. So basically I missed all but one of my pots into the same pocket as I've just played and got four in a row in the other pocket. So I feel like I really need to uh, work on that side of the table. But uh, anyway, here I am doing another challenge, doing it again, see if I can beat five. Uh, well, I've already put in the title of the video and on the thumbnail that it's new personal best. So you know I beat five, but uh, you know, is it just going to be six or can I do more? I uh, queued across that one a bit, so that wasn't great. So there's uh, one out of three, so quite happy with getting my first one in. But yeah, one out of three. And I'm back to the side of the table that I least favor. So can I get this in? Switch to the head cam. Oh no, I'm... Uh, Okay, I think I started second guessing myself about actually what I was up to, so I had to go and count the balls in the pocket. I, I felt like I'd, uh, I felt like I was set up on the wrong side of the table and I'd made a mistake, but I'm, I'm right, so I'll carry on. Yeah, that was much better. Need to stay down on the shot a bit more to uh, show the ball going in the pocket, but uh, it did go in nicely. So I'm two for four and one in each side of the table. So that's a bit more uh, like it. So hopefully not getting a favorite side of the table. Mm, not quite that one. Rattled in the jaws, wasn't far away, but uh, not quite. Get a lot of walking done in this challenge, walking around the table, setting the balls up. No, not quite. Uh, also, somebody's come in the club. Uh, I don't like wearing my head cam when people are in the club, so this is slightly embarrassing, but in the middle of a video. So yeah, not missed a couple in a row now. So I knew it really could do with getting this one in just to keep the uh, keep the momentum going. So there we do. Yeah, get that one in nicely. So that's uh, that's a little bit better. So three for seven. Uh, so just about at the halfway point. Just explaining the challenge I'm doing to uh, Chris, who's just come into the club. Mm. 
not quite. Felt like I queued down pretty well, so maybe just didn't quite quite get my endpoint right. But um, maybe there was a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of side on there. So still three for eight. Can I get this one in? Yes, I can. Nicely in the pocket. Straight as a die, that one. So I have four. So I've got six shots left to get two pots or uh, to beat my best. So can I get two of these six pots in? Form in the previous nine suggests I should be able to, but you never know as the pressure starts to build, especially if I miss a couple of these first. And I missed that one by quite a long way. It's probably my worst shot of the uh, of the round. Taking my time, getting my grip right. No, I'm starting to learn where I need to put my hand on the cue. I don't want to put any marks on my cue for where I need to put my hand, so I'm trying to use the actual um, the inlay in the cue to work out where my hand needs to be. Uh, I missed that one by quite a way as well, but uh, look at that. Chris has brought me a coffee. That's a uh, nice move, isn't it? Hoping to get a frame with Chris at some point. He's a pretty, he's a very good player actually, very very good player. Uh, he's offered me a couple of frames, so uh, I need to just organise that. Uh, there we go. Another that's two in a row. Oh, uh, no, it's not two in a row. Sorry, that's uh, that's my uh, previous best best match. So that means I've got three shots to get one of these in uh, to beat my best. Which, as I say, I put in the thumbnail and on the description or on the uh, title that I have beat my best. So you know that I do. But will it go down to the wire? Oh, not far off. That's a shame. It's close. Maybe not as close as the others have been that didn't go in, but still. Definitely getting better at this challenge, and I'm starting to enjoy it more. It was a bit of a chore to start with, but uh, it's starting to uh, now they're starting to come in a bit more often. It feels like a, a nicer challenge to do. It's still, only like 15 shots over the course of about 10 minutes, which is not ideal, but uh, it's good practice. Uh, there we go. There's another one in straight as you like. I think if there's top spin on that, probably the cue ball would have gone in as well. So that's pretty straight. So there's my best beat in six, six out of five. Sorry, six instead of five out of fifteen. So I've got one more shot left. Can I do the, the seemingly impossible and get seven? Here we go. Didn't seem to cue that well. Catches the far jaw, but it does go in. So there we go, a new PB. A bit of a fist bump. A fist bump? A fist pump, as it were, not a fist bump. And uh, yeah, new PB, 7 out of 15. Might be a while before I beat that, but I'm going to keep trying. And uh, if you see another one of these videos posted, it's because I have. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.